On this episode, I'm going to show you how to connect the MPU5 to your camera system to encode, receive, display, control, and distribute video to your tactical team. Let's get started. This is the FLIR 380 HD camera, which has a daylight thermal camera with a 120 times zoom lens, an absolute monster. This is the type of camera you would typically find on a manned or unmanned ISR aircraft. So pretend we are on an aircraft for now. Our goal is to take the incredible video from this camera, put it on the wave relay network, and transmit the video feed down to the tactical team on the ground. Tactical ISR video provides increased situational awareness to our dismounted warfighters. It both keeps them safe and provides the critical information they need to make better decisions operationally. Let's start setting this up. The first thing we are going to do is connect this BNC cable to the MPU-5. This connection allows the MPU-5 to receive the camera's digital 3G SDI HD video output. That same BNC cable will also provide the MPU-5 with the KLV metadata that allows dismounted users to see where the camera is truly looking, viewable on the map in the TAC app. Next, we're going to connect the Ethernet cable so users can send pan, tilt, zoom commands to the camera. This gives them full control of where the camera is looking. And that's it. We only need two cables to get the camera hooked up to the MPU-5 now, when you log into the MPU-5, you can see that it automatically detects the 1080p30 video stream. Just enable video encoding, select the multicast address to send the data to, embed the KLV metadata in the stream, and enable the COT advertisement. Hit save, and we are in business. Now that the camera on the aircraft is all set up, let's get the dismounted warfighter equipped to find and view the live feed. There is the PTZ Video Command and Control app. This app comes at no additional cost with the MPU-5. When the app is launched, it automatically discovers available feeds on the network, which were advertised via cursor on target. See how our FLIR feed just appeared? I can do more than just viewing the feed. I can control the camera, pan it around, zoom in and out, and easily switch from EO to IR. When there are multiple cameras on the network, I can just swipe through all of the feeds and take control of each camera as needed. In TAC, I can see that those same feeds are available. I can click on any of them to view them in TAC as well. It's really that easy. Connect your camera to the MPU-5 and the MPU-5 handles all the video encoding and streaming. And then your dismounted users can easily view the feeds in TAC or in our PTZ camera app, automating the workflow, automatically discovering video feeds, putting control of the ISR sensors directly in the operator's hands, and integrating with critical tools like TAC. Reach out to our team if you want to demo the system on your aircraft. If you have feedback on the capability or suggestions to improve it, please comment below.